Hi, welcome to Over 60 and Loving It with Yvonne. Hello, my 60 and older sisters. God bless you on today. I haven't made a video in a while, but um, I know I had said I was going to do some dumpster diving and it's been too hot out there for me to get out there. Now, if we're going to be 60 and older, we got to be smart about what we do <laughs> and how we do it. And that's one of the things we have to be mindful of is that in too much heat, you know, we could get sick. So we have to be careful. But anyway, I thought I'd get on today and show you my fantastic recipe, um, shrimp fried rice. Actually, it will be Yvonne's fried rice. So I hope you enjoy, and I'm glad you came back today to check out my channel. We have a quarter of a pound of shrimp, and they have been deveined. And what I have to do, what I like to do, is take the shell off of them, and um, also the tail. I don't like the tail on. So it's just me and my husband here. So I have. Uh, about um, maybe three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's about five shrimp per person, which we probably won't even eat it all, and we'll end up having some left over for tomorrow. My husband loves this. And we use green onions, and I'm going to chop them up. I use sesame seed oil. You can buy this in the um, international uh, spot in your grocery store. This is sesame oil. I love it in oriental food. We're going to use soy sauce, and I use the light soy sauce. And also, to make it easier, I just use a pack of fried rice seasoning. Now, there are several varieties of it, but the only one I could find was this one here. And it's by uh, Kikoman. It's a fam famous Oriental um, season pack. They have Kikoman uh, soy sauce and Kikoman all kind of products, but this is the fried rice product. Okay, so I'll be using this. I also am going to put in there some diced ham, okay? You can buy that in the grocery store as well, okay? You can use cued ham, diced ham, diced chicken, whatever your taste palate is. That's what you use, okay? You don't have to use ham. You can substitute it for chicken, sausage, or however you choose to do it. Just make it so you and your family will like it. Okay, so I'm gonna get started and I'm gonna begin to clean the shrimp. And what you're gonna do is just take the shrimp because these were some I had frozen fresh and they were already deveined, so all I have to do is pull the tail. See, the tail is off. They're deveined in the back. You wanna make sure they're deveined because that is their bowel tract, okay? That's where they deposit their excess, <laughs> okay? I'll put it to you like that. So I usually leave mine like this, okay, as I clean them. And so, um, how have you been doing? Um, it's been a couple of days, maybe a week since I've been on. And see, this one has a little bit of uh, something in it. And I'm just going to take the paper towel and clean it out. Okay. And we're going to continue until I am done with it. Yes, it's been kind of hot outside. So you have to choose your battles carefully and when actually you start getting older you don't want to find yourself out in that sun if you're going to go out it's best to go out in the morning hours or late in the evening so you want to be safe with that um, during the summer 
months when it's very, very hot and it has been uh, close to 100 to where I am in the state of Georgia. So you just want to be careful. But this is a, a very simple dish. It's a very easy dish. And my husband happens to love fried rice. And what I try to do with recipes, when I find something that I enjoy in restaurants, and I'm very funny about eating in, in those too as well, even before the COVID. I'm just funny about my food. I, I like to eat out, but I'm very funny, in particular where I eat. But I try to mimic um, where we go, whether it's steak, uh, surf and turf, or uh, Chinese food. Where I'm from, they had um, a lot of uh, good Chinese restaurants. And so we often went there. So I'm just gonna give these another rinse, make sure they're rinsed, and I'm gonna let them sit in the bowl until I'm done cutting up my other um, things for my fried rice. So right now I'm gonna cut up my green onions and usually what I do is I save them to put in the rice last. And oh, I forgot, I always scramble up two eggs to go in my fried rice as well. Now, if you don't like eggs or you can't eat eggs and you're allergic to eggs or whatever the reason is, you do it to your liking. Okay, that's what food is all about. Uh, soul food is all about using and making recipes that fit your appetite, your culture, or even just trying some new foods from different cultures. You know, sometimes um, we tend to stick to the norm, but I like uh, seafood, I like oriental food, I like Spanish food, I like it all. <laughs> but what I try to do, as I said, is I try to learn how to make it and put a spin on it myself. And that's a good thing to do. So now I have about a half a cup of green onions. I have my 10 shrimp. Okay, you can't see them all, I'll put them up. I have my seasoning pack my sesame oil, my soy sauce, and now I'm going to open up uh, my ham, let it drain out. Always keep you some scissors in the kitchen that you can use specifically for opening up packages and what have you. And I'm gonna take this and drain it into a boil, a bowl, excuse me. That's the ham here. You wanna make sure your ham is always fresh, okay? And actually, I had it, um, I buy stuff and I freeze it. And when I need it, I pull it out of the freezer. So at this time that we're dealing with COVID and we're under quarantine, I try to drink water too. It's a good thing to make sure we have what we need so we don't have to run into the stores. So if you have an extra freezer or refrigerator, buy extra things that you know your family like, extra, you know, the food that your family likes. Don't just buy anything, but buy the foods that your family enjoy eating. And again, it's just me and my hubby. And so it doesn't take much <laughs> for he and I, but I still uh, fill my freezer up. And what I, I have is I have some cold rice. This was rice actually I made the other day and it's been in the refrigerator. And this is a good way to use your leftovers. You don't have to toss them. We had 
um, cube steak, uh, vegetables, salad, and rice and gravy on the day before yesterday. Um, we had leftovers yesterday, so we finished those off from that day before. And this is the rice I have left over. And believe it or not, this is just two, well, actually, no, it's more than that. I think it was four cups of rice that I made. So this is what's left. And I'm going to use this instead of discarding it. I'm going to take this extra leftover rice and I'm going to make some fried rice. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, move you over here to my stove and I'm going to get my skillet going. I'm going to turn it on and every stove is different. So we have to, um, you know, be careful of how high or how high we don't turn it. And so I'm going to put my, um, I'm going to try to get this. You guys, excuse me. <laughs> I have to get a tripod and I don't have all that right now. So I'm going to put you down to level of my, my skillet here. And I'm going to start to, and I just have uh, a um, non-stick skillet, and I'm going to put some uh, sesame oil in it, as I stated, and that's going to get this meal going. And I'll show you step by step what I do and the things that I use. And first, I'm going to put some sesame seed oil in my skillet and get it hot and I'll start cooking my items one at a time. Well, it's good that you're, you're back with me. I'm glad to be back on. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start cooking my shrimp. As soon as my skillet gets hot enough, I'm gonna begin cooking my shrimp first, and then I'll put that to the side, and then I'll warm up my ham. Well, actually, let's do that first. I, I like to warm it up, even though it's pre-cooked, I like to warm it up anyway, and um, I'll pre-cook that a little bit, and then I'll cook my shrimp, and then I'm gonna add my rice and we'll go from there. I hope you've been having a good week. As I stated, we're still stuck in from this COVID stuff. And you know, we have to make the best of it that we can. Uh, God is still good. He's still blessing us. He's still keeping us. And he will continue to keep his word to whatever he said and I'm gonna wash my hands again because I know what you're probably saying she's messing with her hair and um, she's sitting up there cooking okay so I just wash my hands again and um, we have to be clean when we're cooking or nobody wants to eat our food Okay, but, you know, we just have to be mindful that this COVID thing is a real thing. Um, it's nothing that's made up. We don't know where it came from, how it came about. about. We can speculate all we want to, but we really don't know. Uh, some of us have conspiracy theories and, you know, about the government could, or could not be true. We really, really don't know. Uh, because pandemics have um, been in the United States before, years and years ago, but they have been around. And so being that technology has advanced in medicine and science and all of that, I'm trusting God he's going to send a cure to this earth. And 
you know, we just have to stay faithful. We have to keep trusting in the Lord and just believing that he's going to keep us. And of course, you know, we just have to be mindful that, you know, especially us, you know, that are getting older, we have to be careful. We have to wear our mask. We got the mask up when we go out. And it's something that I do. When I bring my food home, I wash everything down with Clorox wipes. Excuse me, it's a fly in here, a gnat. But I wash everything down. And I take those Clorox wipes and I wash, wipe all the packages down. I make me some bleach and dish water. And I also wash my cans down. And I've been doing that for years. I always wash my cans down because you don't know if some type of contamination got on the cans while they were in the the warehouse or you don't know who touched it. So I've been washing my cans down for years with bleach and dishwater. Okay, so that's a, a, a good suggest, a suggestion for you. But I would suggest at this time and point and day that we living in that you would take the time. It takes a lot of time and energy, but it's best to cover your your table or put your stuff on the floor and then just sit there and wash your things down. And I believe that has helped us a lot as well. So we just have to be mindful and have some, you know, some godly wisdom because everybody got some common sense every now and then, but if you don't have godly wisdom and you just don't know or you don't believe this stuff that's going on, you just talk to somebody that work in the hospital. You know, I have family members that work in hospitals. And I tell you, um, <clears throat> that stuff ain't no joke. And so even my daughter had it. But thanks and glory be to God that he healed her from it. And she is a health care worker. So she sees this stuff all the time. So I, I'm telling you from what experience that I'm getting from people in my family, from people that have had it, this stuff is real. And so we have to take heed to that. I know that our president is, he's saying a lot of different things, but whose report will you believe? I'm gonna believe the report of the Lord. Praise the Lord. So my ham, my diced ham is cooking in this um, sesame seed oil, that's gonna flavor it up and it gives it a real, a real good sharp flavor, uh, oriental flavor that is added to the soy sauce when you add that to the rice and the uh, rice seasoning mix, okay? Now, some people mix theirs with vegetables, mixed vegetables that have corn, beans, and all types of stuff. It's your choice. Cooking is about your flavor, okay? Um, I, I like to glean recipes from other people and try them. Sometimes they're okay and sometimes they're not. It's just not my taste, but it doesn't mean that it's not good. And so this is just what I'm doing. This is how I cook my rice. Sometimes I add chicken. Um, I add um, slivered beef, you know. You can add all scallops. You can add any type of seafood that you would like to your rice. Any kind of vegetable. You can add broccoli if you want to. But most typical fried rice made by the Orientals, it has uh, ham, uh, onion, green onion, and... Um, shrimp, beef, or chicken, okay? That's typical. But in their house fried rice, they have a combination of everything. That's why it's called house fried rice. So I have been known to um, as well prepare that. And like I said, you can put different meats in that, you know, to your liking. You may not like shrimp. You may, you know, have high blood pressure. Maybe you can't eat ham or what have you. Whatever you like, you add to your rice. And I, I, I bet you it's going to gonna be a delightful dish. 
but um yeah so just stay mindful of i'm gonna rinse this pot out and i'll be back you know just be mindful that this pandemic is real it's not fake it's not just something somebody made up it is real okay i'm gonna add some more uh oil that's that sesame seed oil and now i'm gonna cook my shrimp okay so i'll put them in the pan and you don't want to overcook shrimp because if you overcook them they will become very tough and that is not a good taste and it will not be good i'm telling you so make sure that you watch it that you don't walk away from the stove because it will cook very very quickly so what we're going to do is we're going to get this shrimp cooked okay and we're going to do that quickly I'm going to wash my hands again okay and i want to get that shrimp cooked and we're going to be just about done we're going to get our eggs out okay and as i stated i usually scrambled up two eggs for my fried rice okay i usually scramble up two eggs that's what I usually do. Two eggs for my fried rice. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> okay, I usually do two eggs for my fried rice. Welcome back again to the channel. I hope you've had a good week. And I pray that you're staying safe, most of all. Stay safe. Remember, we ain't no young spring chickens. But we're in the best season of our life. Yes, we are. You know, usually about this time, uh, some of us are traveling. And, um, you know, but due to this, I heard that the, the Bahamas have, and some of the, um, the tourist place have shut the United States down from even going on cruises. I hear they're not receiving no, uh, no uh, United States citizens. So, and and I understand because that stuff is spreading and it's spreading like wildfire, wildfire. Uh, so we have to be careful, okay? We don't want them bringing it to us, and we don't want to be taking it over to their country. So we have to be very mindful and careful of that COVID nineteen. Okay, so this is the color the shrimp is now. It's like a partial pink. I don't know if you saw that. Let me stick another one up. See there? It's getting there. I'm getting ready to flip it in a minute. And we'll take that out. And then I'm going to put my rice in here. And we're going to go from there. And now it's the color pink that I wanted. So it doesn't take but about a minute on each side because it is gonna go in the rice so it will cook a tad bit more. But see when it turned that color, I flipped it over. Yes, it's kind of an orange, but you don't wanna overcook it, okay? You don't wanna overcook. Um, I'm gonna scramble my egg, but I hate that white membrane in there. So I take that out. That's just how I was raised. My mama did it. And that's what I do. And I don't like the color. So I'm going to scramble my eggs. I'm going to scramble them up good. And just prepare them. Because we still have to go through a, uh, a few more cooking instructions. And then we'll be ready. The egg is usually the last thing that we... Um, 
put into our rice, okay? That's my water. That's another thing. When we hit that senior season, we have to stay hydrated, especially in this heat. And I've already said that, but I'm going to say it again. Because like me, sometimes I get caught up and I can get busy and doing things around the house or what have you. And before I know it, the day done went by. I'm taking my shrimp out and I haven't hydrated. <laughs> So we have to be mindful of that, my 60s and over. We have to be very mindful of that. So I'm going to add more um, sesame oil. You're going to say that's a lot. No, it's not because the food is absorbing all of that goodness. Okay? All of it. Now we're going to put our rice in and... I probably have about three cups here. And I'm gonna turn that down because I have an electric stove. And that electric stove probably cooks different from a gas, I'm sure. So I'm gonna, I have a cup measure and I'm gonna take three cups of rice out of my bag and I'm gonna have some rice left over, looks like. <laughs> but sometimes we eat it for breakfast, so. If that's the case, that's just what we'll do. So we ain't throwing nothing away, okay? As mom and them didn't throw stuff away. They ate what they had. So that's about three, huh, maybe about four cups. I'll put a little bit, about three and a half cups. Okay. So that left about this much left. And I'll say that for breakfast. Amen. Okay. So now we're going to get this rice warmed up. Remember, when you're making fried rice, you want to be sure to make sure your rice is cold. Because if you cook it and you throw it right in here, it's going to mush up. Okay. So make sure it's just some rice that's set overnight or maybe two nights. Okay. And then you can take it and you can make your your rice from there. So you want to keep your your skillet at or a wok. I used to have a wok, but I don't have one right now. So I'm going to give me another wok because I love cooking Chinese food. I um, make egg rolls also, um, but I haven't made any in a good while because we don't eat a lot of fried food. And so um, I try, you know, not to do it as much. And remember that package. Now that I have the rice in here and I've um, stir fried the rice with the sesame seed oil, now what I'm going to do is open up my fried rice seasoning mix. And I'm going to add that to the rice, which was cold, but now it has warmed up, okay? So now I'm going to, I'm going to add that seasoning, okay? I'm going to add that seasoning to the rice, okay? Just like that. You just add it in. You take that packet, you add it in. <clears throat> throw this in the garbage and now I'm gonna add up add in my soy sauce I'm gonna serve this and mix that mix up real good because remember I have the oil and the rice warmed up and I'm gonna mix that season real good and let me show you I'll show you what it looks like you just mix it up in there it looks kind of clumpy but don't worry about it because it's gonna all um, work into the rice. Yes, it's gonna work into the rice. And something else I forgot to tell you, we add peas and carrots, 
Okay. And <laughs> I may not have none. Let me see here. I have carrots. Yeah, I have I have peas and carrots. Excuse me, I had to jump away from the uh the skillet for a minute, but I have peas and carrots. I forgot that. If you don't like peas and carrots, don't add them, but we do. A lot of the fried rice cuisine has about a cup. When you're just doing a little bit, uh, it has about a cup of uh, peas and carrots as well, okay? So as we get this warmed up, and you know, all you have to do, you just use frozen. Don't use the can. Use the frozen peas and carrots. And all you're going to do is toss them into your rice frozen. And guess what that heat's going to do? That heat, excuse me, <laughs> I'm dropping food. That heat is going to unthaw your peas and your carrots. Perfectly, just perfect. So you won't have to worry about, I'm gonna show you how that looks, see? It's peas and carrots, see there? Oh, that's beautiful, yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, so it'll soften up the peas and the, it defrosts the peas and the carrots. I had forgot about that, I'm sorry. So we have ham, shrimp, peas and carrots, green onion, and our scrambled eggs. We're gonna scramble that in here. Now I'm gonna add my soy sauce. You can put as much or as little as you like. This is light soy sauce, okay? Because if you're watching your salt intake, you want to be sure that you don't overload, okay? You want to be sure that you don't overload with too much soy sauce, okay? That's why I buy the light. It's, it uh, has uh, a lot of sodium in it. So you want to be careful, okay? So we're just adding our cooked foods back into the fried rice, okay? And we're mixing that all together, okay? Until it's all cooked down and cooked together. It's really a simple dish, a quick dish, and an easy dish. Very simple and very tasty. Very, very tasty. So this is one meal, and like I said, I'll show you the end product. Me and my husband will probably eat this for tomorrow too. He'll eat it for breakfast. I'm gonna taste some. Mmm, -hmm. delicious. Okay, now you can start sprinkling your green onion, okay? And we just gonna put it all in. I love green onion. I love it. Continue to mix. Continue to mix that. Okay. Now we got a quick meal. Take you about really less. It's just this. This is camera time. I'm putting my shrimp in now. It's gonna be a lovely dish. Remember, I took about five shrimp per person. My husband don't really eat them, but sometimes he likes a few of them. So I put that in. And the shrimp is going to cook a little bit more. And while that's going on, we're going to scoot everything over after I put the shrimp in. And see if I had a wok in the Chinese restaurant, they're constantly stirring that rice. Because you don't want it to stick and you don't want it to burn. That's why you have to know, know the instrument you're using. Know your stove, know the heat degrees, 
and how hot um, your skillet is, okay? So this is just about done. I'm telling you, this looks good. It looks good. Yeah, it's kind of, it's thundering and lightning outside right now and while I'm recording, but it's still a beautiful day. It's a wonderful day. Okay. Okay, now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you in the skillet what I'm going to do. <clears throat> okay. See the rice? Look how good that is. Look how good that is. Look how delicious that looks. Yes. It just looks delicious. Okay, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at that. That's shrimp fried rice with ham, peas, and carrots. Now, what I'm going to do is, let me fix this camera back. It's a lot of movement, I'm sorry, y'all. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to scoop my rice over in the pan, okay? And then I'm going to take my egg and I'm gonna put it up in the front part of the pan and I'm gonna scramble it in that same pan. You see, I didn't use that many dishes. One skillet meal, literally. <clears throat> one skillet meal, literally one skillet meal. I love that kind of cooking where I can just take and dump everything in and that's all I have to wash except for a few little dishes I had when I had my shrimp in uh, and my eggs and my green onion okay so now we're going to scramble these eggs now this is in the same pot that the fried rice is in which is done okay we're gonna let this egg cook we're gonna scramble it right in here with the rice okay and I'm gonna show you how it's gonna look afterwards. Delicious. Delicious. out there right now okay so the egg is cooking see this egg is scrambling let me see let me bring you the egg is scrambling up see okay and it's delicious in this dish boy I tell you I'm gonna cut my oven my stove off and this is going to just, we're going to mesh everything in together. I'm going to plate it up for you. And voila, we're going to have fried rice. Shrimp and ham fried rice. What a delicious dinner. What a delicious dinner. Okay, now we have scrambled the egg and all of that in there now. We're gonna plate up our rice in a bowl.
Look at here. Look at here. Look at this delicious fried rice. Look at that. Delicious. Look. I've had a good time talking and cooking with you. This took about 20, 25 minutes to just put together. And I'm telling you, you and your husband will enjoy it. Or you and your grandchildren, you and your family. I make it often for my husband. He loves it. Anyway, I want to thank you today for joining me. I hope you enjoy this recipe. I will put it in the description box. Stay safe. Stay at home. And at all calls, take this COVID serious. It is for real. It is not fake. And look, if you are a believer in Christ Jesus, trust him and keep the faith. And just remember that age ain't nothing but a number. God bless you. And we'll talk soon.